I started writing um, this particular book online and so I was always surprised when readers responded to it and added a comment on my blog uh, and I always went oh that's right someone's reading it because there's this kind of sense especially when I would write it mostly at night and I'd be there on my computer at night just typing away and then um, suddenly in the morning there'd be a comment there and I'd go oh okay someone's engaged with this that's really interesting and um, then I found this particular software that you can add to it which tells you how many people are reading your blog which was really fine until a friend of mine suggested it to this um, porn literary porn network in England and suddenly there was this explosion of hundreds and hundreds of people hitting my site every day off the back of this kind of I think everyone was looking for you know strange sex with goat and would like hit my site instead so it suddenly got this huge following and people would come back and and that was all very very exciting um, but I think now that um, now that the book has been published it's really interesting how um, that's changed because the blog was very forgiving it's immediate you're writing it every day um, if you make mistakes it doesn't matter uh, whereas the book is a big complete unchangeable thing and so people who have read my book have gone away and committed to this long period of time like a couple of days or a week or two weeks sitting with this particular book and I know how many books are out there and they've chosen to read mine and so it's there's a different level of I suppose respect um, both that they've given me and that I have for my new readers um, because they have committed to such a big task and reading this amazing thing and um, yeah it's, it, it changes and it changes um, it changes my status, which I've been really surprised at, I suppose, because um, it changes people into thinking of me as a real writer, as opposed to when they used to read my blog and they thought of me as, you know, just that person who writes that daily blog, which is sometimes okay. So it's, yeah, it's been a really interesting process. I have to front this book, like I have to, um, I have to speak in public and I have to talk at festivals and I have to go to bookshops and I have to actually stand up and and be there for the reader, uh, which was different when I was a blogger. I could kind of hide and, you know, not have any pictures of myself on the website. And, you know, that was okay. But now having this book out, I feel like there needs to be a front person for it and it has to be me. Um, and part of that is because there have been so many memoirs lately that, um, you know, bits of it aren't true. Um, people have made stuff up. There have been so, so much controversy. And I just feel like it's my job to stand up and be there for the reader to see. The difference between erotica and porn is very blurry. Um, I think that it's all about purpose. It's all about what you use your reading for. Um, you know, I still get little grabs of really terrible writing that is just about sex for the purpose of masturbation. I still read that stuff and I go, it does its purpose. You know, if you've got five minutes and you've got to run out the door, then you can either, you know, log on and watch someone having sex or you can read a little bit of crappy writing and get off that way and that's what makes pornography but there's also some pornographic writing which is incredibly beautiful and it is designed for the purpose of masturbation or to arouse and it's art you know it's also pornography and you know I can also use that for masturbatory purposes but it's also art as well so and that's always the stuff that sticks with me longer and I have a better relationship with but I still devour porn <laughs> and so does everyone so it's it's basically about the purpose and the quality I suppose that that is a difference well, we've got a trolley <laughs> <laughs>